Hi, Julie here. I thought I would go ahead and uh, do a little Seek and Send tutorial video on how to use Seek and Send to back up your Skype contacts, your Skype lists, and your Skype rooms. Um, so here we have Seek and Send open, and usually it's on the Search tab, so we're going to be on the Message to Users tab. Usually it loads with this eventually. You, you can see it's progress in the lower left corner. I've finished loading all my contacts here. And this is a little Skype account, so it loaded really fast. <laughs> um, here are all my contacts. This is, a, this is a special Skype account just for Julie's Skype rooms, uh, just for my own Skype rooms. And um, uh, because my Skype is so huge with so many dozens and maybe hundreds of Skype rooms, I have a Skype account just for my Skype rooms to do this with. So um, to back up my Skype contacts, um, we're going to back up contacts, we're going to back up lists, and we're going to back up rooms. So I'm going to uncheck this. Oops. I'm going to uncheck this. Notice you can only check it when this outer one is checked. There's all my Skype contacts. I'm going to check all. I'm going to export. And I have in my Skype stuff folder, I have Skype contacts. And I'm going to say contacts of, and then the Skype account that I'm in, which is my um, live, put this as a username. I don't think it'll accept a colon. Uh, uh, Julie Skype room. Contacts. Julie's room um, account. And uh, that's it. Now, if I know how many contacts there are, I would put them in brackets here. And here I have so few, I can easily count them. But that's a feature that. Um, other Skype tools will give you, I'm hoping Seek and Send, we can, we can add that feature so that it tells you how many, and it gives you search bars and things like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, approximately nine. So you don't want to have to count them, you know, so it would be nice if it told you how many you have. So um, that's right in my Skype stuff folder, in my Skype contacts folder. It's a backup. Um, in fact, I can even call it backup contacts uh, hiccup. <laughs> okay, there we go. Save. And that's it. You have now saved them in a text file. Okay, so we're going to uncheck Skype contacts. And I can go and I can navigate there to documents, Skype stuff, resort. Skype contacts, date modified. I did a Skype room backup before I started the video. That's where I'll save my Skype room backups. Backup contacts, and there they are in a text file. Now, if you wanted to change or make a copy of it, I would make a copy of it to be on the safe side. Um, if you rename that to To a .csv file, so I have the text file below and I have the CSV file from the copy. Yes, you can open that in a spreadsheet. And there they are. So you can make notes on your contacts if you want. Notice it's not the whole profile like we used to have with Message Magic. Hopefully that functionality will come from some Skype tool soon. We used to have columns for all of the information in people's profiles and hopefully that will come back again. Let me know if you're interested. <laughs> okay, so uh, yes, that's fine. Oh no. Cancel. Do you want to save the changes? No. Okay, bye. <laughs> so that's an example of backing up Skype contacts. In fact, probably in my Skype stuff, Skype contacts folder, we should have Skype uh, contact backup so we don't you know so it's easy to, easy to find things so we'll put those there 
and then um, a lot of these are different searches. Here's a here's a Julie Wolf contacts backup, and you can use those to Skype people in another Skype account if you want. Add them in mass if you want. Um, you can uh, use those. God forbid anything should happen to your computer. Um, so we, we're going to do reminders of those periodically, at least once a quarter, if not once a month, how to do these backups. Um, the rest of these are searches, right? Trade, passive income, Zeke rewards. Uh, this is this is actually a backup of a Skype list of mine. Let's make so we can stay organized, right? So this is again in the Skype stuff folder in Documents. Please don't save stuff on your desktop. <laughs> in your Documents. Um, create a Skype stuff folder and then create all of these other folders. So um, we have a Skype room backup, Skype list backups, um, Skype contact backups. That's good. And then um, all the rest of them really would go in um, Skype leads, lead lists from your searches, search results. So anyways, I should organize all of this. Uh, Zeke is one of the things, one of the companies, for example, writers, I must have done a search for writers. So that's, that's the search feature, right? So when you use this hundreds and hundreds, let's say ambient energy, watch what happens up here. Skype ideas in quotes and then ambient energy and then you would do this and then you would save the IDs, etc. That's another lesson. So those are searches and you can put any term you want in there. Like I put writers at one point, uh, who knows? These are lists, list backups, people, they're yes lists, they're permission lists, people who went through my Skype funnel and said yes, they're interested, they want more information so I can send them broadcasts on things that they want. So those are, um, Here's Washington State. That must have been when I had I could see profiles with uh, other Skype tools. So that is a contacts backup, specifically for people who are in the state of Washington, for example. That's in their own Skype room. That's a list, a permission list. Oops, which one? List backup. Anyway, you should make these folders before you start saving all these files, <laughs> right? X guy is uh, lists of contacts. Uh, that's a, a list backup. Okay, so, um, and I know that from how I've been using Skype, right? So, how I've been using SequenceM. So, back to making backups, we go to the general tab, I'm sorry, message to users tab. Now, let's make a list, a backup of all the lists that I have. I would do them one at a time because if you check all of them, then it's a mix. But let's back up. Well, this isn't a very good example, but you know, this is a this is a Skype account that I use because my Skype is gigantic and needs tons of organizing. So um, let's pretend that there's lots of con contacts in this list, and it's you know some useful list like uh, blog voters and whatever. I have lots and lots of lists in other Skype accounts, but these are the only ones I have in this one. So again, we check all, um, we export the file and uh, name the file. So what are we backing up? We're backing up uh, my Skype list. So this is a Skype list backup oh, and the list name in this case happens to be me. <laughs> okay. So that's going to go in my, so always name your file. It's always going to be a text file. I don't know if you can choose CSV. Yeah. It's so always a text file by default, but always add a name. Choose the right folder like we're backing up a Skype list. Skype lists are very different than rooms, remember. Ta-da! File saved. Done. So I would go through all of my lists at least once a quarter and back them up. Remember, you can only check these or uncheck them when the outer box is checked. So I'm unchecking that, unchecking that, backing up Skype rooms. Um, better 
boot camp mastermind. Well, it must have been a client room I set up. You could see I put slash get guidelines. That was something I wanted to add to that. Training and Skype, huge Skype tip. It's a training or article that I created today. Um, I answered questions on how you, uh, on um, how you moderate, um, how do you use commands in Skype rooms, um, uh, why you can't post in rooms, why there's a difference between, you know, how come I can't put guidelines in my room. So I answered a bunch of questions on Skype rooms today. So hopefully that will become a Skype room training on the second week of some month. So I've already, I don't need to back up this one. Um, I've just backed up this one, but I want to back up, um, start backing up each room. Again, I don't want to see what's happening on the right. It's adding more and more people. I don't want to do them all at once. I want to do them one at a time. So I would check all. If you want to uncheck them and selectively check, you can check none and selectively check or check all and uncheck whoever you don't want in that list and uh, export. And this again, what are we backing up? We're backing up. This is a Skype room backup. So it needs to be in the Skype room backups. Group chat as opposed to a Skype list. These people don't see each other. These people are in a group chat together. Okay, so this is a Skype room backup. And this is the Better Bootcamp Mastermind. for easy reading. That's the name of the text file. Done. And that's what you do. You gradually go through each of the lists. Check all, probably. Export. Make sure you're in the right folder. Skype contacts. Um, Skype stuff, Skype contacts. In this case, it's a room still, so maybe I'll click that to start the name. A few little tips for you here. And this one is called Clownfish. That's a Skype tool. So I have a room for all my Skype tools so to support people and help, you know, help each other out using the tool and come up with interesting ideas for each tool. So I have a room for that. I'm backing up my Clownfish Skype room. And that's how you do it. So that's how you one at a time back up computer tips chat, you back up your contacts, your lists, and your rooms. Thanks for watching.